hi everybody just wanted to make a quick video on um, some quotes that I found older quotes from the watchtower and awake and this is why the watchtower discourages the Jehovah's Witnesses from not using their older or they're actually trying to get rid of their older literature because it's very damning to the organization and it's very dangerous to people who are seeking a um, relationship with God but the first one is from a watchtower in uh, October 1st of 1951. It's on page 607. If you want to look it up for yourself. It is not scriptural to speak of Jehovah as being omnipresent. And then the Awake magazine in 1963 says, The scriptures that seem to attribute omnipresence to God must be taken symbolically or figuratively. Well, if you go to the Bible and look at look up some of these, there's a lot of scriptures that point to um, the omnipresence of God, but uh, I just picked out a couple for this video. Keep it short. Uh, the first one, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Can a man hide himself in hiding places so I do not see him, declares the Lord. Do I not fill the heavens and the earth, declares the Lord. And the second one is Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place keeping watch on the evil and the good. And then just to summarize this. When scripture speaks of God as omnipresent or present everywhere, it is not communicating that he is physically distributed throughout, our, throughout the universe, but that he is simultaneously present with all his fullness to every part of creation. Thus, scripture communicates God's creative and sustaining relationship to the cosmos rather than his physical location in the cosmos. So those of you who are Jehovah's Witnesses or Jehovah's Witness apologists, people studying with the Jehovah's Witnesses or anyone that's trying to witness to the Jehovah's Witnesses, um, these are just good quotes even though they're old they're not apostate material. They came from your watchtower and awake publications, so you can't try to accuse them of that. Just goes to show you how your organization sometimes just flat out lies. And again, this is why they're trying to obliterate all of their older publications. But uh, with the event of the um, internet, that's not going to work. That's a war the watchtower is not going to win. So thanks for watching.